Petra and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video I have a hair tutorial for you guys. I decided to show you step by step how I achieved this um, hair look. Uh, it's quite easy. Uh, all you need is a hair brush and a flat uh, iron. This is basically how I do my uh, hair most of the time. It's quite easy as I said. It doesn't really require a lot of uh, time. I think this is a um, hairstyle that looks uh, good on basically any hair length, uh, on uh, any hair uh, color. Also, I think it's a great hairstyle when you want to add more volume uh, to your uh, hair, something that looks good basically on uh, everybody. I hope you guys are going to love this video. If you do, please um, let me know by liking this video and subscribe to my channel. That would really mean a lot, a lot to me. And let's jump straight into the video. <music> So let's start. I washed my hair and just blow dry it, nothing else, and I look like Hagrid now. This is my natural uh, hair. There's a lot of it, but as I said, I look like female Hagrid. Um, gonna uh, show you how I style my hair and uh, how I make those uh, very soft uh, waves using flat iron. What I always do is, of course, you want to brush your hair completely uh, through and make the sections in which you want to uh, style your uh, hair. I always make uh, three sections. I make this lower uh, part and just separate from the top part of my uh, hair like that. Just gonna uh, pull this up so it's not in the way. As I said, I'm just using flat uh, iron to achieve this look. This is a uh, Remington uh, flat iron I got at Target, but of course you can use whatever flat iron that you uh, own. What I would definitely uh, say is take your time, especially if you're like me and you have a lot of hair and your hair is uh, thick, to take your time and uh, take piece by piece of your uh, hair. So what I do, I just take section by uh, section, uh, get my brush to make it smooth. You know, I always make sure I go through uh, that piece of my uh, hair. Uh, the smaller the piece is, the uh, easier it will be to make uh, a wave. Also, uh, even though the uh, the more curlier it will look, but you can always straighten it up a little bit, but also if uh, your hair is naturally straight, it doesn't really hold uh, the waves that much, I would definitely suggest taking smaller sections. In that way, the, uh, the curl or the wave uh, will actually last longer and you can always uh, make it softer. Then basically what I do is you take your flat iron um, somewhere like that and you just flip it away from your base and just go slowly take it down and this end of your hair you just want to go through it you don't want to hold it too much this is basically how it looks I'm just gonna leave it like uh, that and I'm just gonna take a next uh, section always remember always brush that part of your uh, hair go through uh, with flat iron. If your hair is naturally straight, you know, and it's not uh, like mine, you know, and um, you, if your hair doesn't really hold the waves that much with curls, don't straight it. Uh, just go straight into making the wave. You can maybe just focus on this front part to make that uh, straight. Again, you, you're gonna take your flat iron like that, somewhere like that, and just flip it away from your face and just take it down slowly, you know, not too fast, not too slowly, and just leave it like that. Uh, I'm gonna straighten it up uh, later on. If you want this ends to be more straight, just when you come to the end, just go uh, quicker in that part. I'm just gonna repeat this on to the rest of my hair. like away from your face you're also gonna uh, flip your iron in that direction if you want it towards your face you're gonna curl the iron 
towards your face. But before I start, I twist my wrist like that so it can make it easier for me to turn around the flat iron and just take it down slowly. When you get to the end, just go a little faster if you don't want that part to be too curly. Of course, you can always take that part and straighten it out a little bit if you prefer that. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side here. like I do and as I said if your hair is thick uh, ironing a little bit your section helps to make sure you know everything stays in uh, place but don't overdo it you don't want to like you don't want to damage your hair for no reason basically iron the uh, curlier that section would be uh, you know I'm not going for that like uh, very big big curls I'm more into making just you know soft waves and this is as you can see the lower uh, part I usually just go uh, through with my uh, fingers always uh, go through first with the first part that you uh, done, leave this to stay, you know, uh, and cool down a little bit. What I would say is if you're making uh, waves, try uh, not to use hair oils, um, especially after uh, styling your hair, but also before blow drying your hair, uh, because uh, hair oils, they are great generally for your hair when you're trying to make those waves. Um, they uh, are uh, they make the hair itself a little bit uh, heavier so uh, in result of that your uh, waves or curls won't last uh, as uh, much you know as long as they would without that uh, oil especially you know if uh, your hair is naturally straight and it doesn't hold the waves very much try to avoid using oils when you're gonna stand them that way but you know if you're maybe uh, for example myself because my hair uh, holds on the waves quite uh, good and when I see well I you know uh, would like them to be a little just softer I would add a little bit of oil and that way you know I know the oil itself uh, will uh, also help in you know losing a little bit of that volume of the curl uh, but you know if that's not the case with you I would definitely suggest uh, not you know use the oils uh, especially after uh, those oils that you put after um, you stand your hair on like a dry uh, hair so I'm gonna put this uh, back and I'm gonna do the upper part of my uh, hair I always do this into uh, sections this is just in the way I um, am used to I just separate this basically in the middle and I'm gonna leave this part for the later on and I'm gonna brush this side and basically I'm gonna continue the process I'm gonna take a section by section go through with a brush straighten it out a little bit then I'm gonna take the curling iron flip it around away from my face and just take it down little by little and that's the curl basically or the wave and I'm just gonna continue the process I honestly uh, don't use uh, 
curling irons, you know, uh, I really never find that, uh, I never really find them uh, doing the job for me. I think, um, you know, my hair gets uh, a little puffy with them, you know, uh, the curls don't really stay that much. I don't think um, you need that, you know, when you have your flat iron, I think you can make really cool uh, waves with your flat uh, iron. And leave it for now like uh, this and I'm just gonna uh, go to the uh, this side I'm gonna go section by uh, section and curl it basically uh, done what I always go through is this front uh, pieces you just want to give them more volume and just take it away from your face like this in that way they will uh, get a little bit more uh, volume in that part and stay away from your face like that then what I always do you're gonna go with your uh, brush or your fingers and just uh, go through your uh, hair to make those a little bit more soft uh, waves. Basically you're gonna go with your fingers, with your uh, brush, whatever you prefer. If your hair is more uh, straight, naturally I would prefer go first with your uh, hands because you don't want to completely destroy your um, curls or waves uh, that it's quite easy you're just gonna flip your flat iron it doesn't have to be perfect I love this it kind of reminds me when you go to the hairdresser and uh, they blow dry your hair with a brush you know you get that uh, look as I said I think it's quite easy it doesn't really uh, require a lot of time you just basically need to practice a couple of times to learn how to flip your um, flat iron uh, also um, basically for me personally it takes me approximately the same time uh, as much time as I need to straight uh, my uh, hair and basically that's it guys I hope you uh, like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel they would really mean a lot to me uh, please tell me in the comments down below did you find this video uh, helpful I hope you did and let me know what would you maybe like me to film uh, next week for you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye